in a life-threatening situation on board a ship, it may be time for the vessel to be abandoned. Abandoning a ship needs to take place at the right time, doesn't it? And it needs to be done by following a number of specific steps and procedures as the decision to abandon a ship and fall into the sea comes with great risks. According to the Marine Shipping Authority's Book of Words, the abandonment of a ship follows after the crew and the people responsible have done everything they could to prevent the danger and ensure the safety of everyone on board. The master is the one to give the decision, the order to abandon ship. Toastmasters, fellow voyagers, we are indeed afloat on an ocean of opportunities and an ocean that may indeed be festooned with icebergs. Today I bring before you the idea that it's time to abandon easy speak. Now I ask you, are we, is this club in a life threatening situation? Easy speak is our vessel. Easy speak is the uh, mechanism by which we glue the club together. Let us not forget that easy speak is where we book our passage. Easy speak is, is where the cabins are allocated. Easy speak is where the master of the vessel addresses the passengers and everybody else as the ship leaves port at every meeting. I have the cheek to present you with the thought that we, the master, the officers, and the customers, the travelers, that we should abandon easy speak. Now, as the marine authorities have said, you must not abandon the ship until you've got everything sorted out about how to do it. Is the time right? Have you got the procedures? Because abandoning easy speak, where would that leave the club? No, I'm not here today to encourage you to abandon easy speak at the end of this meeting. What a preposterous idea that would be. Thank you, something. What a preposterous idea it would be if I was to ask you to abandon your own house this evening on the grounds that the house might someday burn down. Of course not. Is the club in a life-threatening situation? That, of course, is a matter of judgment. And indeed, the only person who has the authority on board a ship to make that judgment is the master. In this case, distinguished Brian Dodd, the club president. This is the guidance given to us by the, the marine authorities. Only Brian Dodd has the authority to announce, abandon easy speak. We know we have a careful and thoughtful president in this time. We know that the president, the captain, if you like, knows that we need specific steps and procedures if we are to do something like abandon easy speak. Thank goodness we have a captain that wouldn't tell us to abandon easy speak prematurely when there isn't any real danger. A couple of thoughts about the dangers we are in. We sail the seas every week. We go out into the ocean, 
with a ship. And sometimes we don't know who's on board. In fact, so many of the passengers don't give advanced warning that they're actually coming on board. So many people come on board and they don't have a cabin allocated to them already. This is not good for the reputation of our marine sailing line, is it? Our uh, line, our shipping, our ship uh, needs to be held in the highest esteem in order to attract the right type of customers in future. We certainly don't want any riffraff coming on board because there's no organization. Oh, no. We want people to come on board who are going to practice telling people in advance that they're intending to come on board. The reason I have brought you this idea, this life-threatening idea, perhaps, that we should abandon easy speak is to reassure you that we will not abandon easy speak until our club president says it's time to do so. And until our club president has taken care of all of the specific procedures. And of course, that means what is going to be the lifeboat. Now, in my second speech on this topic, on a future occasion, we'll talk about the lifeboat. And before we get to the lifeboat, I'm quite sure that our captain of the ship will be calling on the ship's officers to actually consider what kind of a lifeboat we would need if we were to abandon easy speak. But it would be irresponsible of me as somebody who's been up on top with my telescope open, looking into the future. It would be irresponsible of me, would it not, to say, there are some risks coming up. We may need to abandon ship. Go home tonight. Into your own cabin on land. When you come off this meeting, when you get out of the ocean, go home tonight and consider how risky do you think it is to stay on easy speak if hardly anyone is willing to use it. Captain, Toastmaster, I thank you for your attention.